All right, so let's switch our design to prototype mode now from design mode. So I'm going to hit prototype at the top and my tools change a little bit. I'm just going to collapse this sidebar. And what happens now is that I can select different objects in my scene and create interactions with them. So I have my second screen here and my first screen here. So I'm going to select my start button and it adds this little interaction icon and I can click and drag that interaction to the screen that I'd like this to go to. So I'll release there. And over here on the context menu, I can choose how that's triggered, the type of transition, the destination, if I wanted to change it, and the animations. Let's do a slide up, how it eases, and if the position is fixed whenever you're scrolling. And to test it, I'll hit the play button. Okay, looks great. Close out of that button. Uh, let's add a way back. So I'll select this button here and I'll just click and drag and go back. And we'll do a different, we'll do slide down and I'll hit play. So it's slid up, slid back down, great. So my prototype is working now. If I wanted to change the starting screen, each uh, artboard has a little home icon in the corner. So if I want this to be the starting screen, I could pick it here. And now that will be the first screen that I see. There's some really cool functionality like uh, with, um, with overlays and things like that. I'll just really quickly make an overlay. So I'm going to make, make a new artboard. Uh, we'll just do another iPhone artboard. And I'm just going to make a quick little alert. So I'll have this alert and I'll have some text that says alert. And I know this all looks awful, but that's okay for me. Select both of those and let's just change the fill to a little more alarming. Again, I know this doesn't look terrific, but right now I don't really care. I'm just kind of rapidly doing this. I'm gonna select both, I'll group those together and I have this alert. And now if I go back to my, uh, let's actually, yeah, that's good. I'm fine with that. We'll go back to the prototyping screen. So I'm going to select a button over here. I'll have it go to, whoops, I'll have it go to my new screen and I'll use that as an overlay. So it was on transition by default. I'll switch that to an overlay. And now I can pick how this overlays on my screen. That's fine and we'll have the overlay go back here. We'll just do a transition though. So let's hit play and see how that looks. You can see the overlay and I can tap to dismiss it. Great, so there's tons of things and I know I did this really quickly, but I just want to reintroduce some of these elements. Um, to share your projects, you'll just hit this share button and send a link. Uh, that's basically it. So yeah, that's XD in a very quick, two short videos.